The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? It sounds to me like you're saying that I should expect a season or two where the roster is built to develop rather than win right away. I can get on board with that because it'll give me some time to form chemistry with the other guys on the team. To me, it sounds like the same recipe that Thunder used, and that worked incredible for them. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Yeah, definitely. I mean, these teams aren't drafting you to be a dead weight at the end of the bench. They want results, and I totally understand that. It's my responsibility to live up to those expectations. And I just hope I can do it. Okay, good stuff. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking seventh in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. We realize that here in Sacramento, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Sacramento Kings. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Kings. Are you that person? Yeah, I would be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a rabid fan base out in Sacktown. I'd love to be a leader on this team for the next decade. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? Extremely important, because I know I'm one of the best players in the draft, if not the best player in the draft. To go outside the lottery? Man, that'd just be an insult. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. I'm with the Bobcats, and we're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you would fit in with us. Question number one. Well, it's true that our team has a lot of needs. I really feel like a small forward to build around is what would help us the most at this point. I'm going to be looking at all of the available wings of the draft, but I really wanted to get the chance to talk to you first. I just love your game. Tell me, what can you provide to the Charlotte Bobcats? Well, I can provide an honest player who's going to give 110% every night. I'm a player that the team and community can get behind. I make plays, I don't make noise off the court, and I enjoy facilitating the play rather than making it. Not too many people can look you in the eye and tell you that last one. Look, above all, I want to win and I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Definitely. It's clear to me that you guys have a plan. Rebuilding is a means to an end, and you need players who are going to stick it out through both the good times and the bad. If you believe in me, I believe in you and what you're trying to do here. We both just want to win. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick.